Hey friend, this is Mandeep and you are watching High Technology TV. So in our earlier videos, we have covered till here. So this is our S4 HANA upgrade series. So all these steps we already covered and now we are going to start the extract sum and then all these steps. So let's go to our jump server. So this is the location where our sum and SAP car file is placed. So let's extract them. Okay, so it is extracted. Now go back to root. LL CD sum CD bar. Now we have to start our sum. So let's start it. So we have to start it with root. Then config host agent and then SID. So our SID is S20 config host agent test it. Okay, so it started. Let's copy the sub app URL. Okay, okay friends, so we need to pause the video here and we need to go back to our infra team because I think that this particular port is not whitelisted. Okay, so let me check with them. So here you can see that it's not working. So this is a firewall issue. Let me check with them. So I'm pausing the video here. So guys, I got a confirmation from network team that port 1128 is whitelisted. So we have to go with HTTP, not with HTTPS and port will be 1128 in case of HTTP connection. So here we need to put SID so that will be S20. Hit enter and here we need to provide the SID and password. So that will be S20 ADM and the password hit enter okay yeah so it started so now we have to provide our stack file so go there
okay let's give it okay this is xls so that is wrong we need to upload the correct file so this one is the correct file guys let's give it permission ch mode triple seven and file name go back to our browser cancel it click again install upg and now stack this file select this file click ok and click next so here we are going with standard configuration okay uh, if you want to do you can do a prerequisite check tool also so that's all all depend upon you guys how you want to proceed but here I'm going with the standard configuration I'm not going to check the prerequisite here but I will recommend you guys to check this then check archive authenticity okay and click next so here we have to provide the password and here we need to provide the system user password and click next so guys now it is scanning the directory and it is going to take some time so wait for that okay friends so it is getting going to take uh, much time here okay in this extraction phase so i will i will resume the video or i will start a new video on this and then i will let you know guys or what i can do is i will stop or i will start the start recording if we face any error here or any input is required from outside so friend as you can see that right now it is in dialog mode so we have to proceed further here you can see all the information okay then remote database detected fine download directory then operating system and database version here you can see all these things acs then high availability system is not there without a high availability setup okay yeah so these are all the add-ons okay 
so click next on this now you can see that it is in configuration okay m code system detected that's fine yes the system is configured correctly one more is no so just click on next on this okay so here it is asking that uh, keep a database archiving on during the whole procedure okay so we'll keep this if you want to read more you can click on this okay that what it is going it will describe the more details here ideally what uh, we have to do is we have to disable the database archiving because during the upgrade or uh, conversion it is going to generate more archive files okay so that is the thing let's uncheck this click next so now it is asking about the required configuration parameter okay in the downtime i'm going to increase that we will monitor the system and then in the runtime also we can increase them that's fine 60 then regarding the SHN that we are going to run manually okay okay that is fine click next So click next here guys okay click next save variant yes report no click next No, here it will extend the downtime significantly so we can ignore it click next so here it is asking check for technical user for the silent data migration infrastructure so yes select this some will create the user automatically and click next So here it is saying table C node persistent format detected. Okay, to update one.
ओके सो समरी ऑफ लैंग्वेज अपडेट्स और इंस्टॉलेशन सो दीज आर द टू लैंग्वेज विच विल बी अपडेटेड क्लिक नेक्स्ट so we have a error and the error is that we have some missing sap node so this one is missing let's apply this download this
so friends as you are able to see that we have one issue and that is our related to our db right now our db is 52 to sps05 and revision 2 then we need to upgrade it to this 2.0059 So let's do one thing, let's plan for the upgrade of our DB.